Now on Kauai, they have two cases. And Mayor Derek Kawakami announced that Kauai residents and tourists will be on an island-wide curfew that will go into effect tonight at 9 p.m. And joining us on the phone right now is Kauai Mayor Derek Kawakami. Good morning, Mayor. Hey, good morning, everybody. Mayor, what can you tell us about this curfew and the decision-making process behind it? You know, um, we, we got a... Uh, all I got to say is we have an A-team... Um, that's been working for a long time proactively. And, uh, you know, as we begin to discuss flattening the curve, uh, what we're trying to do is avoid a huge spike in illnesses, period. Any potential to overburden our healthcare system. You know, we've only just begun and uh, we need to preserve our resources as far as our first responders, which include our fire department, our police department, AMR paramedics, and all of our healthcare workers, because we're gonna need them for the long haul. And, you know, we're already uh, getting reports from Wilcox Hospital that the community's effort to flatten this curve is already starting to show some tangible results. They reported yesterday that they saw a large uh, decline in trauma cases. And so any which way this community can come together to avoid putting themselves in precarious situations helps us preserve uh, these resources when we're gonna need them. Now keep in mind, Kauai has been through this before as far as disasters, but we've always been able to lean on our state partners and federal partners as well. In this case, this is a worldwide, uh, this is a worldwide situation we're going in. So in a sense, we have to be in the mindset that we may not be able to rely on those resources. And so it's critical that this community come together and all contribute to flattening this curve. And that goes to all the young folks that are out there that may not understand the magnitude of what we're going through, our parents have to impress upon them that they play a huge role in all of this as well. Uh, you know, as visitors continue to arrive, and I have to say we have been adamant from the beginning that we need to control the entry points into our island. We have a limited amount of resources and I can tell you, when you take a look at what's happened in history, uh, there's going to be a mounting uh, sense of frustration. And so uh, this is to proactively uh, tell these visitors that are coming, hey, go back to your room. And, um, and really, that's, that's the thought process behind the curfew is to get ahead of this curve and really focus our efforts on flattening it. Can you talk about this curfew, some details, as well as some of the other measures that you're taking to protect Kauai residents? So we take a lot of our advisement through CDC and Department of Health guidelines. I want to give a huge shout out to our Kauai District Health Office led by Dr. Berriman. And we have uh, Lauren Guest in our EOC and they provide, uh, they provide good advice for us. And so uh, many of the measures that we've taken uh, proactively uh, is with their advisement as well. And so, um, you know, there's no, uh, there's no true uh, science behind every decision making. You know, this, this uh, role of leadership is a mix of art and science. And I got to tell you, uh, sometimes you have to, uh, in these type of situations, listen to your instincts. And so a lot of our decisions are uh, a blend of good science, good information from our partners in the, in the subject matter that we're dealing with. And a lot of it is based on instincts. Now, Mayor, the mandatory curfew starts tonight at 9 p.m., goes until 5 a.m. How confident are you that people will do the right thing? I, you know, we're very confident. And, you know, I know the question you asked before, I didn't even get to it. I apologize. Politicians have a way of doing that. Uh, some, of the, 
some of the details, and, you know, when you look at the rules, it can be confusing. Uh, I understand that. So in a nutshell, we've been doing uh, daily updates. Yesterday, we, we spelled it out real clear. Like, hey, if you're working, any type of work, you're scheduled to work, and it's within those curfew hours, you're good. If you're driving to and from work and everything that that involves, dropping off kids, picking up kids, you're covered. If uh, if you decide to take a pit stop, however, after work to go and hang out, and it's within those curfew hours, that that's not good. Uh, we made accommodations for people that rely on hunting and fishing to help feed their families and friends. Uh, we are uh, we are allowing some flexibility. However, we are saying first and foremost, be safe. Our whole intent behind this curfew is to one preserve our resources to increase social distancing and, uh, and and three to allow as much normalcy as possible if we can preserve priority one and two so that means if you're hunting and fishing be safe we don't want anybody getting hurt go with a partner as long as you can maintain social distancing and people may think it's silly but I cannot drive home how important it is for people to play their part in flattening this curve. And so in a nutshell, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, be doing as far as work, uh, if you're coming in from Lihui Airport or flying out and it's within those curfew hours, that's fine. Uh, but we are extremely confident uh, upon talking to Chief Raybuck and our team that most people on Kauai want to follow the law and they want to follow rules and we got bombarded with a number of questions and we're thankful to the community for bringing up these points because when people ask questions it's telling us that they just want to follow the rules all right there you have it Kauai Mayor Derek Kawakami on the phone thank you so much for your time this morning hey thank you so much and I want to say to everybody out there that's uh that's going through this, that we're all in this together. You know, this COVID-19 by its nature is trying to keep people apart and we've got to maintain social distancing, but we are banding together closer than ever to get through this. And we're going to get through this. We're going to rebuild and we're going to all be together on this one. All right. Thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you.